In this video, I'm going to create an invoice utilizing a variety of the techniques we've learned within our advanced video series for pivot table training through Reporting Guru. This is a pivot table here in my worksheet. And you can see above here I have a drop down box that um, I can use to change the values in my pivot table. So I have Beth Johnson, if I select Burr Reynolds, my customers updated correspondingly in my pivot table. And then if I want to refresh the pivot table, I can hit my refresh button. So I'm doing this with some VBA behind the scenes and you can download this worksheet and look at the VBA yourself. But if I go to developer visual basic, you can see here's the VBA that I'm using. The top here is the, uh, is the refresh button. And then here's the combo box for the drop down. Now let's go ahead and make this look more like an invoice. I'm going to put the ship to and bill to on here. Let's put For the uh, city, state, and zip, I'm going to concatenate the strings together. Okay, that looks good. Now let's just put our zip over here. I mean, our uh, bill to. And we're just going to make this um, equal our, uh, our ship to. All right, good deal. Let's bold all this. And then, so if we were to come here and change this, great, everything changes accordingly. Now, let's go ahead and hide the information we don't need in our pivot table. All right, um, we probably want to move this over. Okay, and then let's put a box around this or line or a border. Okay, starting to look more like an invoice. Um, let's uh, go ahead and hide these. Actually, no, I'm going to put what we're going to want to do here is put our um, invoice subtotal or tax. Um, so for our Invoice subtotal. Let's do this. Invoice subtotal. And that is going to be equals. And remember our get pivot data function. We're using that. And then our tax. This equals 0.0725 times our total. 
and then our invoice total equals this plus this. All right, let's make those. I don't, I don't like the colons at the end. I don't think that, I don't think we need that. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, okay, so maybe we want to have our address and a, and a logo or something. Um, so I'm just gonna put a uh, a text box with our address up here, so you can um, basically. Copy some address information. I'm, I'm going to go to insert uh, text box, and we'll just do a little text box here. The address information. Okay, um, that looks pretty good. Maybe you want to move this over a little bit, like that, and then like that. And then maybe put in like a logo. I'm just putting an image file. Yeah. Okay. Um, looks pretty good. So that is an invoice. Um, that we've created so we can come here and then I'm gonna go to file print and we could print out our um, our invoice here I'm actually going to um, Yeah, I wanted to do it see a print preview here and so you can see right now our our invoice isn't um, isn't off isn't fitting on a one page so I'm gonna close this um, and um, we're probably gonna want to shrink this a little bit so What I'm gonna move this over so it'll fit. Alright, let's go back and preview this again. Alright, that looks better. Um, see now everything fits um, on our uh, on our print preview here. And notice how my control or my uh, um, my box doesn't show up, my control box or my refresh button doesn't show up. Um, so that's because I've, if I go to developer here in design mode, and I right click this, um, and I go to properties, don't move or size with cells, and I've unchecked the print object. That way you can print your invoice and you can have your, your controls not show up on your invoice for your clients.